Hello, Keith Gillespie with the 47th District in York County uh, today at the 101st uh, Pennsylvania Farm Show with uh, Secretary of Agriculture, uh, Russell Redding. Secretary Redding, thanks so much for uh, spending a few minutes with us here today. Great to see you, welcome. Okay, so um, this is the 101st uh, Farm Show. Could you highlight some of the new uh, changes that uh, um, have taken place here at the show over previous years, if any? Well, I'll tell you, we, we had uh, the good fortune last year of having the 100th uh, farm show and learned a lot from it, and we really tried to, you know, to bring some of the history of, of the show and agriculture to the show, right, so you, you look around. So we took that sort of theme and extended it out a little bit and said, you know, we really have an opportunity to talk about uh, some of the pivotal moments in agriculture across time, which actually uh, sound a lot like the, you know, the, the history of Pennsylvania. Right, so you'll see that. But we really were intentional this year to do two things. One, uh, take advantage of the 101st Farm Show and the 101 nomenclature of education, and say Ag 101. So you, there's a stage in, in the uh, in the Expo Hall that really is a chance to, to learn more, a little more in depth. These are short courses, right? They're 20, 30 minutes. It could be about drones and technology, to hex signs and Pennsylvania barns, to some of the uh, alpacas and hydroponics. So that, that is new. People have loved that, just to learn a little more. Uh, and of course, we have our chickens back this year after uh, being out last year with a high path AI threat um, and, and expanded our, our Know Your Farmer area this year a little more to bring in hydroponics and make some of those connections. Excellent. Actually, you mentioned uh, Know Your Farmer. Uh, happy to say that a, a young lady from the 47th district won uh, first place with the poster in the age 8 to, uh, to 11 category. So uh, what a great display. And um, again, I think anything we can do to, to help educate the general public as they come through here. So I congratulate you and your staff for, for the variety of things that, uh, that are being offered here. Yeah, thank you. You know, this is a show where, you know, for most uh, you, you and I get a chance to sort of talk about agriculture and see ag and, and know the people who sort of own the land and, and really make this food system work. But for most of the public, they may see the farms, but really don't get a chance to touch them, right? We'll learn a lot about it. So we, we've, over the years, really tried to put a focus on making those connections a little more obvious, and you can do that here in the farm show. I did laugh a little bit. Um you, you have currently have a farm, I know you raised on a farm, and my background um, was farming as well. And you mentioned the term drone. You know, who would have thought, uh, you know, 40 or 50 years ago when we first started coming to the farm show that uh, you would have ever mentioned the term drone? Yeah, the only uh, <clears throat> way we would have used the term before was with the colony of, of bees, right? <clears throat> now uh, it is that, plus uh, it may be right above us uh, doing surveillance of you know, crops and pests and uh, conservation, so amazing. Exactly, I mean, helping to, to decide what nutrients and fertilizer will go in the field for, uh, for the most efficient use of harvesting. Okay, uh, just getting down a couple of other things. Our food not only needs to taste good, but it also has to be safe to eat. Maybe you can just highlight a few of the measures that the Department of Agriculture puts into play to assure that our, the food that we're eating is safe. So as, as a department, you know, we have primary responsibility for food safety, and that takes a lot of different forms for us. You know, it's, uh, it's farm level, and, and that could be, you know, the, the, the dairy farms and inspections of those farms. Now, importantly, we, we do a lot of the certification of the private sector uh, and of, of other public uh, um, municipalities and, and counties that do frontline uh, public health. Uh, we also do uh, some restaurant inspections, and so it's a lot of different measures. Um, just recently, you know, Congress passed uh, probably the most transformative uh, food safety law in, in 70 years, Food Safety Modernization Act. Uh, we've talked about that during the legislative hearings, and it's going to take a lot of work. And the, and the issue is how do you get uh, a, a diverse industry like agriculture and the farm with all of its variables um, to, to make all of that work for the consumer? But we'll work at it. We're very proud, even with all of that, to have a very safe uh, an abundant food supply. Well, again, thank you to you and your staff for uh, for keeping it safe and um, keeping us all on the on the healthy side. Um, I have the honor and privilege of chairing the uh, the House Game and Fish Committee, and, and have sat on that committee since the uh, uh, first day at the Capitol. And we hear a lot about the hunters sharing the harvest, and it's just recently celebrated its 25th anniversary. And I think you folks have had uh, a role in that as well. Yeah, we have. You know, it's one of those great stories where we just a little bit of help. Uh, you know, with um, uh, the Hunter Share and the Harvest organization and, and Kenny Brandt, who both of us had a chance to, 
to work with to know and give him a lot of credit for the genesis of this. Uh, but a simple idea of how do you take the harvest of our hunters uh, and make that product available to the charitable food system in Pennsylvania. You're 25 years on, a million pounds of venison uh, have gone through that uh, system directly into the hands and onto the plates of folks in Pennsylvania who are hungry. It's a great story. Excellent. And finally, as we wrap things up here, um, again, 101 years here, and let's face it, a lot of our younger generation is, is maybe going on and looking at other careers, uh, you know, the hours, uh, that it takes to, uh, to, to put into to running a farm. Um, what concerns do you have and, and, and maybe what uh, plans are, are, are being considered to keep um, our, our, our coming generations interested in farming and obviously maintaining uh, the family farms here in Pennsylvania? Yeah, it's, it's something that uh, it, it requires us to be a little more intentional, I think, in how we uh, address the issues of careers and how to present those careers and how do you have you know a, a middle school student sort of understand that agriculture is even a, a, a place where they can have a meeting meaningful career right uh, if you're fortunate enough as we have in Pennsylvania 153 schools with an ag science program you've got a, several great ones um, great schools you, you're a step ahead but that's only a fraction of our schools so I think the real challenge for us is how do you introduce agriculture talk about their careers, and even if they're interested, how do you get the pathway through to the point of the education and the skills required? I think that's a, a challenge for us generally. Now, we have uh, great FFA, great 4-H programs across the state, uh, so we have a base, but we're gonna need a lot more folks interested in uh, food and agriculture and the careers that uh, are available, but the jobs and, of course, that we need. Well, I think I can speak for my colleagues in the uh in the House of Representatives. Is there anything that we can do to, uh, to help facilitate that process? We're there. So with that, I want to thank you, uh, Secretary Redding, for the opportunity to spend a few minutes with you. And I wish you uh, best of luck here with the rest of the 101st uh, Pennsylvania Farm Show. That's great. Thank you very much. Good to see you.